Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns. When last we left, we had created our street samurai, an orc by the name of Dralgoth, who got himself a video call from beyond the grave. From his friend Sam, who informed him that he had been killed, and was promising his 100,000 Union life insurance policy money to Dralgoth in the event that we find his killer. So we had a little flashback to days when Dralgoth and Sam ran together, and now we're moving on, so let's get to it. The Dead Man Switch. Your plane hits the SeaTac tarmac with a jolt. Welcome to Seattle. The chilly northwest rain obscures your vision as you step onto the tarmac. Before long, you're sitting in the cramped backseat of a cab, following the signal from Sam's locator chip into the heart of the Redmond Barons. Organ grinders. A legal chop shop for body parts, whether from the living or the dead. If you're hurting bad enough for New Yen, this is the place to sell a limb or an organ. It's also a good place to dispose of an inconvenient body while making a little cash on the side. This franchise is the closest thing the Barons has to a morgue. It seems that this is where Sam Watts' body has ended up. You open the door and are assaulted by the smell of death and bleach. Lovely. Let's go ahead and continue. Alright. And we're back in. And we are here at the entrance of the organ grinders. We can just click to move around. Very cool. So this is just... I'm in the back, it said. Let's read the ticker here. Press conference tonight at 6 Pacific time. Telestrian CEO James Telestrian III to announce new Seattle... Research division. Sources say. Huh. Alright, so now we're gonna head back. Employees only beyond this point, but he said to go ahead and head back here, so. The smell of death and decomposition wash over you, only slightly masked by the minty flake fresh <laughs> minty fake fresh of industrial grade antiseptic. Oh, lovely stuff, man. I swear, if a guy falls out of here and goes by the name of Armitage, I quit. That's a reference to the old SNES. And his name's Dresden. Okay. Nothing bad can possibly come of that. Your name better not be Harry. Hello, sir. Hovering over the recently departed is a small dwarf. Well, that's not Harry. Whistling a tune. His broad grin says, I love my job. A little bit more than you'd want or expect from someone in the chop shop trade. As you approach, he looks up with a lopsided grin. There's something kindly in his eyes, though it might be just a stray reflection of chrome and surgical tools. Well, sorry, didn't expect any visitors at this hour. And some asshole at corporate took my receptionist. What can I do for you, sir? Are you the coroner? I'm John Dresden, the organ grinder's branch manager here. So yeah, that makes me this franchise area's coroner, too. And you are? Hmm. I'll just... Dralgoth, I'm here about Sam Watts. His grin fades. And what makes you think I know anything about that? Sam had a locator chip embedded in his skull. I followed it here. I see. Well, you're right. He's here. Not too many people know about the murder yet, though. The press haven't caught wind of it yet, and that's what... Bleh, excuse me. The press haven't caught wind of it yet, what with it being all the way out here in the Barrens. So who, to who told you he was dead? Hmm. I'm not saying anything about that hundred thousand. That That's keeping strictly to myself. Sam's digital ghost. When his heart stopped, I got sent a recorded message asking me to bring his killer to justice. Guess he had a hunch. The dwarf raises his eyebrows, a smile wiping the suspicion from his face. The dead man switch, huh? Fascinating. I was working on him earlier. He's over here. Guess we'll follow Sam... Or, uh... Dresden. Oh, and there's Sam. He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. The third one was downtown. Ripper, huh? I guess the classics never go out of style. Uh, Emerald City Ripper? He sighs. Not my title. That's what the Seattle press insists on calling the killer. All I know is that the original, like the original Jack, our Ripper knows how to handle his scalpel. But this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. What prize did the Ripper take from Sam? 
Watts' liver was cleanly cut out. <laughs> well, he got damaged goods then, I imagine. Sam was a drinker. Uh, what else? The first victim's heart was missing and the third had the spleen removed. Oh, it's a McCluskey. Dresden, get out here! That looks like an orc you don't want to mess with. I'm here about the new Ripper, Vic. Sam Watts. Oh, he's a cop. Towering over the diminutive corner, the diminutive corner is a homicide detective right out of central casting. If you ignore the tusk, pointed ears, and Neanderthal brow, you can smell his cheap aftershave from a mile away. McCluskey. So this new Ripper Vic Watts, name's familiar. Didn't his mother kill herself a while back? The coroner frowns. So you insisted at the time. Oh, they had history. Come on, she offed herself. I had it on very good authority. Now let's go, Dresden. Give me something to work with here. This Ripper case is my ticket to a lieutenant's badge. I've already posted everything I know. The killer stuns the target with a combination of drugs and magic, then removes a single internal organ, organ while they're still alive. The perpetrator is most likely right-handed with a slim hand that knows his way around a scalpel. Has a decent understanding of human and metahuman anatomy, too. And Dresden knows his stuff. So I'm looking for a whacked-out surgeon? Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeons who, can st who still use scalpels anymore. These days it's all done with computer-controlled lasers. Could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medicine aficionado. Well, you're no damn help, dwarf. The Lone Star Detective finally notices you. You note his superhuman powers of observation. Yeah. Reminds me of Bullock from Batman the Animated Series. Who the hell are you? Oh, I could intimidate him if my strength was four, but it's not. Hmm. I'm new in town. Are you the welcoming committee? If you're new in town, then let me be the first to tell you that I run the show. If you get in my way, you'll end up back here on a slab. He looks back at the dwarf. Dresden, get me more. I am putting someone in a cell or a box this week and claiming my promotion. Well, that's fun. Well, let's talk to Dresden here. Do you always make friends that easily? I don't do friends. <laughs> my friends on the, my last friends on the slab there. He cocks his head to one side. Be straight with me. You really going to work for the dead man? I'm going to bring this killer to justice. At least street justice. That's the street samurai code. Fascinating again. Detective McCluskey isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He's convicted, he'd convict his own mother if it meant another 10 noonian a week in his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. Dresden paused, considering. You have honor after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we have that in common. What can I do to help you? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just go down the list here. Who's paying uh, on the take? Who's paying to hold his leash? We're talking about McCluskey. I don't know, but someone with some major pull has been looking out for McCluskey's career and wallet. Okay, what was that McCluskey said about Sam's mother? The official report is that she committed suicide about a year ago. Well, it sounds like you disagreed with the findings. My name's on the report, but my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say it was suicide, but there were unusual bruises on her upper arms, and she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. Oh, some intrigue there. What are organs worth these days, Dresden? A whole healthy body can be worth a bunch of Nunyan, but individual organs? Not worth as much anymore, what with all the synth and cyber stuff on the market these days. Organ Grinders only deals in the recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop shots that aren't as picky, though, and they don't care where the bodies come from, either. Who still uses scalpels? Doctors still learn how to use them in their first year of medical school, as do coroners, but neither profession uses them much anymore. It's possible some of the uh, slimier chop shops still use scalpels, I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. Now we get to the meat and potatoes. I just need to know one more thing. Where was Sam killed? Dresden looks up at you intently for a moment before speaking. You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around those body lockers in the back and see if you can find anything... useful. Uh, 
Okay then, I'll go do that. Cool. Okay, that's back here, but in the meantime, we're gonna go searching. Since Dresden is at the table. Basic med kit picked up. Give Pay respects to Sam. Sam's body is half covered by a sterile surgical sheet, his, fast, his face an ashen white, for the first time without a smirk on it. Oh, Sam. Below the chest, there's a small, pencil-thin incision covered in dry blood. Beyond that, the corpse is immaculate. It would seem that the killer knew exactly what they wanted from him and took it. Next to Sam are several plastic envelopes containing the evidence found on his body. You can examine evidence through the bag without spoiling it. Excellent. Let's look at the business card. Moving things around, you can make out that it's a card from a place called the Seamstresses Union. There's something handwritten on the back, but blood has made it illegible. Let's look at the cred stick. It's a standard cheap unsecured cred stick. No way of knowing what's on it without slotting it. I'm here to find his killer. I don't care about the law. That <laughs> Does that look like a orc who would care about the law? You slot the cred stick into your PDA. 300 is added to your account. Thank you, Sam. One for the road. Let's look at the purple shirt. It's Sam's shirt. Several of the buttons are missing and blood has thoroughly soaked it. The bag sloshes a bit in your hand. Let's look at the handwritten note. You can only see part of the note, given the torn off bits and blood stains. Sam, I feel terrible that we are arguing, I assume. We have been blank long to say I'm sorry, blank. See you there. Love, Jessica. Interesting. So Sam got himself a woman. Let's see what other little nifty things we can find in here. Dock Wagon Basic Trauma Kit. And another basic med kit. Which always means to me in video game speak that we are about to run into trouble. So let's go ahead and check the shelf, or the drawer. The cold storage drawer is labeled John Doe, but the internal thermostat is set to 21 degrees Celsius. Now let's open the drawer. The cold storage drawer opens to reveal the fully clothed body of a man, arms folded across his chest. In addition to sporting some of the brightest orange hair you've ever seen, the body seems to be in very good condition. Jake Armitage. Oh, hell's bells. Whoa, easy there. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's awesome. Well played, game. Well played. In one quick move, he jumps down from the drawer and stands before you. For someone who just woke up in a morgue locker, he seems unfazed and pretty well put together. Yeah, because he's done it before. You spot a data jack drilled into his temples and some shaman uh, shamanistic tattoos peeking above his collar. An interesting combination. I told John to wake me up at 6 in the morning. Is it 6 yet? It doesn't feel like 6 yet. Sorry, I didn't expect you to be so... alive. Yeah, Dresden thinks he's pretty funny. You're not the first person he's pulled this on. He chuckles. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I noticed you haven't killed me yet, so that's good. If you aren't after me, then what's your story? Hmm. Let's get you right down to business. I'm looking into the death of Sam Watts. The coroner seems to think you can help me out. Sam, eh? I'm glad somebody cares. We used to drink together every now and then over at the Union. Decent enough guy. I'm always in trouble over something or another, though. Jake yells toward the other side of the room. John! Is this guy cool? Dresden. Yeah, he's on the level. Working for Sam, believe it or not. Some sort of dead man switch. I thought you could help him out. Maybe even stop moping around the shop all day. Thanks for volunteering me. He pauses. Might be sizing you up, but it's hard to tell behind those shades. Alright then, the name's Jake, and you are... Eh, call me Dralgoth. Nice to meet you. Well, it sounds like you're taking a dive into the deep end here. John's right, I might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night, the night of the murder. Poor guy. He was hanging at the Seamstresses Union that night, tripped out and rowdy. I've been laying low there for a few days after a bad run. Mrs. Kabota asked me to throw Sam out, so I did. But out in the alley, some gangsters got the jump on me. He winces. Damn. Maybe I need some uh, soy calf after all. John, could you grab me a cup? Get your own damn cup. My hands are dirty anyway. Now what's wrong with this intestine? You hear a loud squelching sound as Dresden continues his work. Always the professional. 
Thanks, John. You're a real pal. Anyway, there's a big fat corp bounty on my head. Like I said, my last job didn't go exactly according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got the jump on us. Damn gangers thought they could turn a quick profit off of my head. Yeah, you took on a dragon, Jake. Jake smiles, and you get the impression that didn't work out so well for the gangers. Sam stumbled off into the fight, though, and... Or into... Yeah, he stumbled off during the fight, though, and that's the last I saw of him. Until he turned up here, dead on arrival. Reminds me of my last stay in this place. <laughs> You've done this before? It's a long story. I end up in a morgue more often than the average guy. Yes, sir. Yeah, Jake here is a regular. Should have started a rewards card, Jake. A few more visits and you get a free night's stay. Jake laughs. I'll hold you to that, John. Anyway, they found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union, missing liver and all. So it didn't take long. Tell you what, you look like you could handle yourself in a fight. I could use some backup to settle the score with those Halloweeners out there. Their leader's got the whole gang searching the Barons for me. I need to get rid of that asshole. In return, I'll take you to the place Sam was murdered. It's not safe to hit these streets alone at night, trust me. Jake eyes you up and down, and maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while we're at it. What do you say? I do like a bit of street justice every now and again. Alright, Jake, count me in. Great, I've been hiding out here ever since that run-in with those Halloweeners. Whiny bunch of gangers, but this stretch of the Barrens is their turf. Hell, I'm surprised you even made it to this Morgan one piece without packing some heat. He yells over his shoulder. Very funny, Jake. You can sleep in the dumpster tomorrow. So you need a weapon? No guns for me. Melee is my game. All I've got here is this baseball bat, but you look like you could handle yourself. Well, we'll start with the baseball bat and work our way up, I suppose. So, ready for an evening out on the town? <laughs> if you're buying. Hey, I've already provided the party favors. We can leave whenever you're ready. Okay, well is Jake gonna follow me? So he is. We got a bad dude in our party right now. Let's actually go ahead and... I don't think we have to equip anything. I don't think so. We'll just go ahead and head out. Head out into the Barrens, confirm. The Redmond Barrens. Run in Seattle sprawl and sooner or later you'll find yourself in the Redmond Barrens. It doesn't matter your business, the Barrens doesn't like you. Take one part radioactive wasteland, three parts dog-eat-dog -dog slum, add a dash of tourist trap and you've got a recipe for mean as hell. You leave the sanitized death and formaldehyde of organ grinders behind, entering the anarchy and desperation of the streets. Jake stops a moment to breathe deeply, filling his lungs with motorcycle exhaust, radioactive dust, cordite and who knows what else. He exhales with an expression of riery contentment. The stench and grime tell him he's home. Let's see what the barons look like. My stash is just around the corner in the alley. Uh, well, let's head this way first off. Is this the alley or is it... Okay, so the... Maybe here? Oh! Guess, does the bus stop here? Looks like crows. Move them around. Excellent. Okay, there's the... Here's where we need to go. Looking for a date? Orcs are my favorite. <laughs> I bet they are. But not while on business. Okay, let's check the uh, stuff. Nice cr crate there. Hidden in the garbage strewn alley is a high tech safe with a mag card reader on the front. And we'll open the safe with Jake's mag card. With a smooth hiss, the safe opens to reveal a collection of gear that is a perfect match for your skills, and you take the gear. Cool. Oh! Hello! It's a trap! Hand over the loot, bozos. Are you... Oh, sir. Uh-uh. You are about to get it. There's three. I'm gonna... The beatings will continue until morale improves. There we go. That's better. 
And Jake's gonna go ahead and take cover and unload on the mugger. What does he have? Okay, just an Ares Predator for 10 damage. Okay, they are all over on Drawl, aren't they? What is this? Oh, we have um, abilities. Blunt Slash. Let's go for Thrust. Looks like it does more damage. Let's Damage 6, Reach 1, does an additional 3 HP. Ignores the weapon's AP damage, but minus 15 to hit. Draw Goth Smash! 5 damage. There we go. And now Jake will unload. Much better. So, welcome to the Barrens. Guess I'll need to find a new spot to hide my gear. Good dead drops are so hard to keep. He chuckles. Well, at least they were too dumb to break my maglock. Now that we've got some gear, let's go deal with those Halloweeners. Alright, good deal. Well, we got some gear, got our first melee weapon, and found Jake Armitage from the SNES Shadowrun to join us in the party, so good stuff. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment. That'd be a big help, and we'll catch you next time. Later days, everyone.